that, we're going to talk about the lines first. We're going to break this down into parts too, because that's a big thing What I always have focused on in practices is focusing on the wind or focusing on the release and the positions and all that good stuff too. Okay. So we're going to imagine the hammerheads on the other side, this is just for demo. Um, so I like to start with it well behind me, back in this area. I don't know if you guys might want to stand just on one, one side or two and I can stand either, either side. What do you think of the Matt Vincent windup? Oh, like the, swinging star. Yeah, you try that? it could work. I think he's more used to just the wire. I don't know if he was right. a big wire hammer thrower. Or what not, is? Really. How does he do it? He does a dynamic start. He yeah, calls. He like I, don't, I can't even it demo it. He comes over there. here. It's not on the oh. ground. Oh, he's what does he do? over here, and then he'll and wind up that way. I, I think you know, yeah. keep it simple. I tried that a couple times. I don't know. Yeah, that's a general thing too. The take home message I always say: stick with. The, the form. I mean, Mark's been throwing for a long time too, so you, yeah. you could get by with, and I'll, I'll play around with a lot of weird stuff, but I don't really, you know, go and make a big deal about it. And usually in competition wise, I don't usually end up changing things that much year to year, but there's a couple things that may may kind of spark you or benefit you. <clears throat> you have to look at, you, know, you look at some of your body type to start, um, but stick within the, the, the standard, the norm, the principles that work, work universally, you know, acceleration, timing, things like that are just going to be universal orbiting off the right hip where the low point are and those kind of things. That's what I'm looking for with you guys today too because everybody's anatomy, everybody's uh, positioning is going to be a little bit different too. So no two throwers are going to be alike, especially hammering. You'll see a little different rhythm, a little different movement patterns. That's that's just individual too. So play with it, work it, build into things, lots of good quality reps, uh, things like that will really pay off. And then you know, if you want to tweak it a little bit too, play around with it. Definitely do it in practice before you start going into games and doing kind of different stuff. Your, your risk of injury and just kind of looking dumb will go up, I think, too. Okay. So, yeah, if you can see it from here, we're going to start. I like to start way behind me, kind of over-exaggerate it back behind you. Okay. Especially to start and on these winds, our key thing is going to be to keep the hammer on our right side, our right hip. I want it to orbit. You talk about the low point, the high point, every event, low point, high point base. So you can hear that more if uh, you've been to my other clinics. This is definitely familiar to you. Should be. Uh, we're going to talk about the low point, high point. So we want that low point way over our right foot. So the high point is going to be over our left shoulder. Okay. And that's going to progress through the throw. But for now, we're going to talk about just keeping it, learning to keep it, make sure we can keep it and control it on the right side. Okay. I'm not going to talk too much about the other details. We'll get into that a little bit more with positions and, and as we're going too. But I want you to just pull that hammer across your body, open up. You do turn the turn the hands on the first wind or as you're getting it started. <coughs> Knees bent in front. You can kind of learn to kind of snap the hammer around because if you're just long arming it from the beginning, usually that first wind as you're coming around. You can bend your arms. It just becomes a natural progressive thing. And your feet too, you want to be active with those feet, driving with your feet. So just staying loose, you can do just, you know, with a with a kettlebell, medicine ball, something in your hands to learn to orbit. So technically what you're doing is this toe heel. We're creating tension, creating drive through the legs, hips. That's our engine. Really the right, think about it in the lines, it's the right hip, our engine right here is the right hip, how we're orbiting, keeping a little more weight. Again, especially starting out, I want you to kind of over-exaggerate that. So let's just, actually, let's break that down right there and leave it, leave it simple that way. I want to see how your winds look. We'll kind of break down more of the specific uh, positions from there. Okay? You can pause it. Yeah, it's like 